Hello and wake up. It is Wednesday. It's a great Wednesday at Hakka. This is the first Wednesday of the month and we love the first Wednesday because we have our free community yoga at 5 a.m. which is open to anybody and everybody. And then we also have the Dreyka's coffee truck on site from 7 to 9 a.m. So it's a great Wednesday. You can probably hear that I'm a little bit under the weather. I've got the sniffles and a little bit just congestion and stuff like that going on. So I thought since the first Wednesday of the month is a great time to talk about nourishment, which is one of our four cornerstones, I thought maybe we would talk about nourishing your body during the cold and flu season. So I'm going to share some of my little tips for staying as healthy as possible. And then when I do get under, not going all the way under and definitely not staying under. Um, so this is my handy dandy tea kettle. And every single morning when I get up, I put some water in here and I heat it to boiling. And then in a um, coffee mug or, or whatever, I squeeze, well these are big lemons, so I would just use half of a lemon in there and then pour the hot water. So I squeeze it in and then put the half in there and then pour the water over top of it um, so that it can get the lemon oil extracts from the skin. Okay, so that's really great. It helps to prepare your stomach for digestion, so it um, keeps the acid in your stomach at the right level so that you can digest your food uh, like in your first meal of the day. It also helps to uh, stimulate the intestines and to um, give you a nice boost of vitamin C every single day to help you to boost immunity and all that stuff. So that's the basic and then I'm going to show you a couple other things that sometimes I mix in. So if I feel that I'm getting sick or if someone in the house is sick, um, I will add to that uh, vitamin C powder. Okay, so I'll just mix that in. We have that here at Hakka. Um, that's made at our supplement lab. So um, it's a really good high quality one. So just mix in some of that in there to boost the vitamin C for some extra immunity and um, help me just kind of fight off whatever's going on. I'll do that a couple times during the day. Sometimes I'll mix this with some kombucha during the day um, if I feel like I need an extra boost of uh, immunity because I'm trying to fight off something. Um, so another thing that I do if I feel that tickle in the back of my throat and I know that a sore throat is looming then in the morning when I make my lemon water, I will mix in some great raw unfiltered honey. So it's, this honey is really great. It has a lot of um, just enzymes in it that are, are good for digestion, but it also helps to just coat the throat, helps with healing, a lot of micronutrients and, and stuff like that. So it's really good when you're starting to get that sore throat to mix that in with the lemon water. And then my ultimate doesn't really look like much but this is elderberry syrup now I make my own I order um, dehydrated elderberries and I boil them down into a syrup with cinnamon and clove and lots of ginger and a little bit of honey and this is like cough syrup so when the cough starts I'll start hitting this and I'll just take a swig of it multiple times throughout the day and it really shortens the amount of time that I'm under the weather or it um, also kind of stops it from really like settling in and getting really bad. So that's the elderberry syrup. Sometimes I mix that in with my lemon water if I feel that there's like sickness is looming in my household or whatever to help with uh, fighting it all off. So those are some of our little tips we use here at the Hakka House to try not to get sick and then if we do to get rid of it a lot faster. Hopefully you can utilize some of that and let us know if you have any questions or if um, you have any feedback. I know a lot of people have started doing the hot lemon water because they learned about that in the Tribal Life Transformation and it's, it's pretty amazing. If you just do it for a week every morning, you'll, you'll be surprised. It really helps in the morning. So, um, all right. Have a great Wednesday, and we will see you next week for 
something having to do with our cornerstone of movement, second week of the month, so our second cornerstone. See you guys. <laughs>